It's a beautiful Tuesday in June in San Francisco and already the Hank Recycling Center was uh, shut down by some irate neighbors and I have a gentleman here who's recycling and he wants to tell you about his history of recycling and why he recycles and who he is. So go ahead, please introduce yourself. My name is Joseph, I'm Chateau Mayor, and I've been recycling for about eight years. But I also do for the money because I get about eight, eight or ten dollars a day recycling, and then it's pretty lucrative for me. For you know, at, at the end of the month, I run out of money, about the 20th of the month, and uh, I recycle, I get eight or ten dollars of supplies with milk, food, and maybe a pack of cigarettes. But I quit smoking during, during recycling, it's helped me to quit smoking. And uh, it's helped my health a lot. I mean, you know, I've been, I've been had a rough life, and uh, I worked as a butcher for for 30 years in America, and I came to America illegally in 1968. From where? From Canada. And when Muhammad Ali was going north to escape the draft, a lot of draft dodgers were leaving America to come to Canada, and they weren't they weren't checking the people going to America. So I came down, I just told him I was going to visit my sister in Philadelphia and I came to San Francisco and I got a job in my trade and, and I worked uh, 68, 78, 88, till 91 and I, I took early retirement at 55 from the butcher's union and I drew a pension and I, I couldn't work my trade in California and draw my pension so I went to South Carolina and worked with a, a family I had uh, I had organized in San Francisco. It was a family of family of five, and they made me a family of six. And I helped that family raise that family. And both of the both of the uh, the couple, they both died of, of AIDS in San Francisco. But the the mother went back to South Carolina to her to her mother, and uh, I, I went. I escorted them back there, and I worked in South Carolina until 2002, and then I come back to uh, California. And but while I was in South Carolina, I didn't have a green card. But I found an attorney that got me into uh, got me uh, on uh, what's it called. Uh, once they give you social security, they wouldn't give me social security because I never had a green card. But I, this attorney in South Carolina got me, got me uh, on social security because there was a, an act of social security that in 1972 they quit giving people, uh, people uh, immigration status. Right. But I had come here in 1968. To uh, California, and I work for Brian Brian's Meats on California Street. And uh, and how do you feel about shutting down these recycling centers? Do you think it's a good idea? I think it's a bad idea, very bad idea. Why? Because I think a person, the people should be allowed to take their their recycling back to the store where they bought it. I mean, they paid a nickel at the store, right? So all I'm doing is picking up the nickels that people don't want to take back to Safeway and get their nickel for it. So I'm picking it up, taking it back, and I'm getting their nickel. Otherwise, the, the garbage department, that's very lucrative for them. You know, they pick it up in the garbage. We go through the garbage. <laughs> what Recology is Sunset Scavenger, yes. Yeah. yeah. A monopoly. Yeah, it is a monopoly, yeah, of course. They, they want the nickel, they want to charge your nickel because they have to. They go to California, state of California, says they have to charge you that nickel because they're littering the beaches. And, 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 and what do you think of the reason is for shutting down uh, the recycling centers? Who do you think is behind it? Oh, I think it's, it's the uh, city, city, the, the politics in San Francisco. That's behind it, in my opinion. You know, they're always going to charge that nickel, don't you think? And Or dime. Or, yeah, it could go up to a dime. No, it's dime for a large one. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. But that's all I have to say. I'm just, I'm just thankful that I'm doing it, and it has, it has extended my life because I quit smoking, and I'm sure I would have, if I'd have continued smoking 
20 years ago, I would, uh, you know, it wouldn't be as healthy as I am. And how much do you get for a large bag like that? This bag here is worth about $4. I see. That's about four dollars. But I also, I also had some grapes in there, and I, and a watermelon that I found. And Bart, they let me, Bart stations let me go in there and recycle because I don't make a mess and I dress clean. You know, I'm always. So there's, so there's actually like a lot of, you actually help food from, stop food from being wasted as well when you're yeah, doing I this. I do, yeah, sure. 